YouTube announced that they were not going to make Rewind 2020, the highly produced YouTuber video that they make every single year for the past decade, but it is okay because Mr. Beast is going to make Rewind 2020. This is insane. And uh, just from me to you, I really, really think that there is no better creator that has the potential to make a great Rewind since the, well, YouTube platform themselves don't want to do it. But how is this even going to be possible from Mr. Beast making Rewind on his own? I mean, sure, Mr. Beast is one of the top creators growing so rapidly that we have never seen something like this before. He's one of the most well-branded and well-known creators but that doesn't necessarily mean that he can make a great YouTube Rewind for 2020. So that got me thinking, how is Mr. Beast going to make a great Rewind for 2020? I can't even say Rewind anymore because I've been saying it so much. Well, if you watch Mr. Beast, then obviously you probably see that most of his videos get over 10, 20 million views each. They are all explosive, not it literally, but they are all like major ideas that only he can pull off, really. They are all different and random, and every time we click, we expect something new. I mean, he has his general structure and approach of storytelling, but every idea is unique to his own mind. Well, this kind of approach isn't really new to Mr. Beast, to be honest with you. He's been making videos for 8 to 10 years now? Yeah, if you didn't know that, Mr. Beast has been on YouTube for a long time. He was 12 when he started, I think, and now he's 20, 21, maybe even 22. He's probably 22. So Mr. Beast really, really knows YouTube. He knows how it works, and he knows what people want to see. Mr. Beast has been on YouTube so long, in fact, that he has been there since, well, PewDiePie days, early PewDiePie days. I Justine, Jacksepticeye, Shane Dawson, anybody watch his video still? Even, uh, even that one guy with the, with the voice. Yeah, it's really crazy. Mr. Beast has been around here that long. But this is precisely why Mr. Beast is making YouTube Rewind because he knows about these YouTubers. He knows about current YouTubers. He's friends with probably most of them. So this means that he not only knows YouTube for his own channel and every video blows up for him, but he also knows what works for every other channel that is ever on YouTube. He's done YouTuber critiques in the past. He's done the same for videos as well. So he knows what makes everything tick on YouTube. He's pretty much mastered the algorithm, how to make people stay to watch, how to get them to click in the first place, and how to make things shareable. And when you are watching a YouTube video, that's pretty much what you need people to do. You need people to click on your video in the first place because if they never click, they never watch, right? Then you have to have them watch the whole video, most of the video at least. And then the other cycle of things and how people blow up usually is by sharing that video. When one person watches a video and he or she recommends it to three or four other friends, that's kind of how the snowball effect begins. And that is exactly what he can do for YouTube Rewind as well, because he knows the ins and outs of the YouTube platform as a whole, not just his own channel but he's pretty much mastered YouTube and how it works. And the even better part is, since he had claimed that he's gonna make YouTube Rewind 2020, a few other YouTubers have already reached out and volunteered to be in this YouTube Rewind. Other YouTubers and people are asking him to take a different approach to it than YouTube has in the past. Like, people don't like YouTube Rewind to be a highly produced thing because then it feels too TV-esque. They want it to feel authentic because YouTube is authentic in the first place. That is the grounds at which it was built on. So why shouldn't it stay that way, right? People want that nostalgic factor. And well, what do you know? Mr. Beast said yes to everything. Which basically means that he's on a right track to make one of the best rewinds ever. It might get one of the most viewed videos ever as well, because YouTube Rewind tends to become the most viewed video of that year. Or just a very disliked video of the year. K-POP! That is so awkward. YouTube Rewind 2018, the most disliked video in the history of YouTube. But I think that Mr. Beast will be able to make a great video that includes a lot of YouTubers that you and I both know and are very fond of. Because I'm sure that if you watch my videos, you'd probably watch another YouTuber's videos, right? So you understand the atmosphere of literally just turning on a camera that you can find around your house if you are that kind of person. I'm a nerd in that kind of way, but yeah, you can literally turn on the camera in your house and film yourself and post it on the internet and something might happen with you. Okay, that sounded kind of weird. Not just with you, but something might happen to you. As in, you might be able to find an audience, a community that you are exposed to, people that love your stuff. They love to watch you talk. They love to watch you and what you do. YouTube is not TV, and it never has been. So why should we expect another rewind like this? I think YouTube is, if they come back at all, which they probably won't, 
for the rewind at least, then uh, I really think that they might take a step back from the highly produced things that always get really, really bad ratios of dislikes and likes. And they might take something from Mr. Beast, perspective that is, and perspective in a way that well, brings the nostalgic factor and YouTube authenticity back. I mean, YouTube is a massive platform, a massive company. They have to worry about a lot of things like backlash from creators and the community that watches these videos and whatnot. And that is one reason why they are not making a rewind this year. But if they really take a step back and look at what Mr. Beast is going to do with the rewind, which I still think is crazy. Like, if you don't think it's crazy, you probably don't care and aren't watching this video right now. But if you are watching, then you do care. So this means that basically, we might see a new era of YouTube coming very soon, you guys. And I'm very excited for this era, because it means that we're going to go back in time. Five, seven, ten years even. I think we might see a really good mixture of what is new, like Dream, the Minecraft YouTuber that has exploded this year. I mean, he's massive. And a good mixture of nostalgia. Some OG YouTubers, like I just seen, of course. Casey Neistat, maybe. But we need this happy medium back because people miss it, and that is one reason why YouTube feels conflicted making videos again. I mean, if you have a channel and make videos, or if you are deciding that you want to make videos, Aren't you going to want to not make those videos if you get bad ratings for every single one? Like, what's it worth making videos that you loved to make, putting them out there, and people just trash them? Would you still want to make those videos after all? I don't know if I would. I would probably go to a different platform. No, just kidding. I could never. I, I love this. But, yeah. People might decide not to. So, what do you think about Mr. Beast making YouTube Rewind 2020? Do you think it's awesome, or do you think that he should just leave it alone, do his own thing with his own videos? Personally, I think that Mr. Beast and his own touch of craziness and randomness for e each and every video that he makes, I think if he applies that to YouTube Rewind, we're probably going to be very, very pleased and surprised. I hope you have enjoyed this video, or it has provided some value to you. I hope you have a good day or night, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. I'm falling asleep.